second cabin is burglarized in the middle of the night. It happened earlier this month and the homeowners video surveillance caught it all. Now the Pima County Sheriff's Department needs your help to identify the thief. News 4 Tucson's Upita Murillo has the latest in this crime tracker's report. This cabin behind me is under construction and it's off the beaten path and how the thief found it in the middle of the night is anybody's guess. You can't see our place and even when you start going up the road it says private property so it's almost like we think that somebody who worked on it last year maybe. The homeowners say they have no evidence of that. They do want to remain anonymous but they are more than willing to talk about the April 4th break-in. When we were looking at the surveillance cameras like this guy knew where he was going and that was that's very disturbing. Detective Scott Dunaway agrees. Uh, they exited the vehicle grabbing some items that were located on a propane tank behind them then made their way around the residence where they forced entry through a side door. And he left a handprint in the middle of the window. Your home is the one spot in this world you're supposed to be feel safe and secure and once you've been broken into that that is shattered essentially and it takes a long time for people to recover that safety. When the homeowners installed the cameras they did so because they wanted to see nature at its best. It turns out that they've you know, helped us here but that wasn't the original intention. The surveillance video clearly shows a passenger in the vehicle. Detectives say that the car is either a Lexus or Toyota Corolla, late 90s, white over beige. They say when he broke into the cabin, he took a weather station and a $400 nail gun. About half an hour later, it appears that the couple realized that there were cameras. That's when it looked like he put down the weather station that was still in the box and put down the nail gun and then got in the car and like drove away, drove off really, really quick. Detective Dunaway says he needs the public's help to identify this man, described as white, late 20s to early 30s, large pronounced ears, and it appears he has a goatee, possibly dirty blonde hair. They don't stop um, after doing it one time, so I don't want to have this happen to anybody else. If you know this man or if you have any information, you are urged to call 911. Or if you want to remain anonymous, call 88 Crime. On Mount Lemon, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson. President Donald